something's missing. What is it? Hello, my name is Paulina, and today I want to tell you a story. A story of when I felt something was missing, and I was wondering, well, what is it? So, first of all, let me start by saying that everyone here has a purpose. Do you know what your purpose is? If you don't, don't worry, we'll find out together. So, ever since I was little, I knew I wanted to stand out. I knew I wanted to make a statement in the world. I started off by saying, well, I want to be a singer, a dancer, but then I was like, no, I want to be a fashion designer or a makeup artist, so on and so forth. But when people asked why, I could never give an answer that fully convinced me. And then I thought, does your career define your purpose? Why do you do what you do? It was hard for me to find my purpose. Like, I wanted to know what was my mission in this world, what made me myself. And then a lot of questions started to come up. Who determines your purpose? How do you know? Who hands it over to you? And if you would have asked me some years ago, I would have said that you determine it. But I was wrong. One day, I was laying in my bed thinking of all the things I have. I have a family, I have friends, I have a home, I have my education, I have my health and the health of the people who surround me. But why don't I feel complete? What's missing? And then it came to me. I wasn't giving God the importance that he deserved in my life. He was my purpose, and he was the missing piece. And I could never feel happy with everything that I had if I didn't value who was giving me it. So then I started to write. I started to say, God, I'm so sorry for not being the person you want me to be. I wanted to give back to him. I wanted to show how gra grateful I was for everything that I had. So I was like, how can I give back to God? Well, the answer came at me. Give back the smile that he gives to you. And let me start like to say that I know that everyone here like has problems. All of us do. But God do, do, would have never put a problem in your like path if he didn't think that you could over overcome it. And that's what he puts it, to make us stronger. And when I say that you should give back the smile that he gives to you, it doesn't mean that it has to be with something material or something like that. It just has to symbolize God's love. And many of the people may wonder, God, like, may doubt God's love when bad things happen, but they don't happen because of God. They happen because the first ever humans failed to fulfill his, his simple commands. And you may say, like, well, how, like, how do I do this? How can I, how can I follow his path? Well, I'm going to tell you a story that my aunt once told me. It was a story of these two boys that were down a road, and they were, they crossed with two different paths, and they could only take one. So the left road was clear, and it had lights, and it was smooth, and it seemed like the easy way out. But then there was the right road. It was filled with rocks, and it had like trees, and it was dark, and you, could, you didn't know where you would get there. And then one decided to go left, and one decided to go right. And then they both reached the door. There were different doors. And the left door, it opened, and the boy couldn't go back. So if he didn't like what he saw, it was too bad. So he opened, and he heard screaming and crying, and it was dark. And he had to enter that room. And then the, the one that decided to go through the rough patch was all sweaty and tired. And he was like, well, he opens the door to find the light at the end of the tunnel. He found, like, all the light and kids playing and laughing and candy and everything you could dream of. And then a man approached him and said, you have arrived at my father's temple. The road wasn't the easiest, and you had to go through a lot of things to get where you are. But your faith and determination allowed you to get here. Now you can live forever happy. That man was Jesus. And he was saying that, well, the road to God's, through God's path is not the easiest. But it is the one that's worth it. So I realized that in order to find your missing piece, to find your happiness, you need to have a purpose. I found my purpose. My purpose is the same as all of yours. 
is to honor our creator. And our missions are different than this world, but the reason we do them are the same. So I, I tell you that you should start now. And if you don't know where to start, start with a smile, with a hug, with giving like those little things that God will really cherish and love. And believe me, you have no idea how big of an impact those can make. I strongly fir and firmly believe that I can make a change, you can make a change, and we can all make a change. And how do I know that? Because I can do all, three, all things through Christ, who, through, through Christ who strengthens me, and so can you. So people ask me, like, why, do, why is, at a such young age you feel so strongly about God? Well, my answer is, without him, I wouldn't be here, and you wouldn't be here either. You owe him all the blessings you have. And... Yes, to a point, everyone doubts God's existence until you feel his presence. And I was able to feel his presence once I reached out to him. It's never too late to reach out to his presence and to feel it. Believe me, you should talk to him. Like, he answers in ways that you cannot even imagine. Like, one time I was feeling, like, so guilty for something I did. And I was like, God, talk to me. Give me an answer. Like, I want to talk to you. So... I got this book that my aunt gave me, and it was like, um, like I hadn't read it like for years, but I got it, and I opened it, and the first page I opened, I'm not even lying, I opened the page, and it said exactly what I was looking for. It was like, it, um, it said like uh, that, uh, you know how it feels like that uh oh sensation when you, when you feel you've done something wrong. It was a whole page talking about how you need to to talk to God when something's wrong and how it's okay to make mistakes and how you need to redeem yourselves through God. Today, I stand here doing something I never thought I would. Like, I'm not good at public speaking, but today I have a purpose. My purpose is to honor God. My purpose is to spread the message he sent me. The journey to finding God, to finding your purpose is not easy, but it is sure worth it, and I can tell you it is. My missing piece, God, was with me all along, and I just failed to see him. But now I carry him everywhere I go. I carry this cross that I have here, and I never take it off. Even when I'm sleeping, when I'm bathing, when I'm in school, at home, everywhere. It, it, like, it gives me anxiety not to have it. And you know why? Because every time I feel sad, scared, angry, all those emotions that we get daily, because we all do, well... Every time I feel that, I see it and I remember that everything will be okay and that I have every reason to be happy because God is with me all the time. Thank you.